What's good, YouTube? Never done until you're back again, once again, and today, people, today, we are here for episode number four of our Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play with Hector. With me. Today. It's a new intro each time. It'll be a viewing. It'll be a viewing. Uh, so, we are stuck with the task of completing research tasks, multiple tasks, I guess you could say. Um, we also have some dogs that are going wild at the moment. They just got fed and went outside and I guess they feel the need to express themselves. Um, but, we need to complete the Starly Pokedex entry and catch a fatter Buizel. Nope, I take it back. A taller, taller. Buizel. A taller, a larger weasel. Um, so lengthier. I think I'm gonna go after the weasel, and I think you should go after the starly. Okay. <laughs> well, he mentioned the Laventon. He mentioned uh, Bidoof's too, but I don't know if we really need to do that or not. But we'll see. Why is everyone in harmony? Get out of there, Sasha! <laughs> okay. Um, so I want to see if we can craft we can craft twenty two Pokeballs. Wow. So we have thirty Pokeballs now. So hopefully that's enough to get us our Starleys and our Buizels. I see a Bidoof. Do you want a Bidoof redemption? Bidoofy. Wait, I'm Bidoofy. Bidoof it. Sneak up on him. Remember the left one locks on, and you throw with the right. Oh, that looks like Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. She's precious. She's girthy. Look at that. Five of six. Three heavy specimens. So we need one more Bidoof. How do you run fast? No, you're crouched. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Little bitch. Look at that. Okay, catch that one too. Just for good measure. But I'm crouched. I shouldn't be crouched. <laughs> and look at there's one of these rutabagas. <gasps> How do you jump? But the Starlies too. <laughs> the Starlies are there too. Stop running, stop running, stop running. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I had to throw a Pokeball at it. Crouch, crouch, crouch. I've been spotted, huh? No. Oh! No, he's gone. Whore. <laughs> Hit him again. I wish it showed like research special task completed. It does in the top left. What? I missed <laughs> it by telling you. Do we have a re rewind button? <laughs> Not yet. Now go fuck up that weasel. Toss that Pokeball at him. Yeah! Yeah! But we need to catch it. We need to catch it. So don't, don't knock it Quick off. attack or Thunderstruck? Oh no, you're level nine. You oh. might rock his world. Whoa. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, so now go to feel. items. Items? Yeah. How do I do that? Oh, it's on the screen. And then? <laughs> no, it's the wrong one. Hit B. Oh, right here. No, it said plus sign. No, no, it didn't. What am I doing? Pokeball. Use it. Okay, we have to catch all the weasel we see. Oh my god! <clears throat> Are they always along the, just along the river bend? Mm-hmm. Cause they're little otters. How many do we have to? How many? How many do we have to catch? I don't know. Uh. Oh my god! I see thirty-two. You 
better throw that Pokeball. You better throw that Poke. He gonna oh mess you God, up. You better throw that Pokeball. I fighting two? Yes, you're fighting two Buizel right now. Do I switch him? Ah, <laughs> I'm nervous. Wait, move around so you can see the other one. Look. <laughs> They're beating. I'm being jumped. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, you killed one. Wait, go to. Oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Quick attack him. Hey, if we don't have a completed Buizel Pokedex entry after this. So you asked what happens if you don't go to sleep? That's, a, that's a, a best one. But he sees you. You gotta sneak up on him. A balloon drift. A balloon drift. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna double down on with, I'm not 100% sure. Mm. Whoa, 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 what happened? He's about to attack you. <laughs> How do you jump? You should go back towards the, the, the target, our target. <gasps> Where's the target? <laughs> to your right, you'll see it there. No. Don't stop running. Are you that man? Fireworks. Boom. Just like that. Drifloon caught. New yeah. Pokemon. Registered. But now you need to get out of here because you're about to die. But is it enough? Look at my cookie box. So we got Shinx complete. We got Starly complete, which is important because we have a request for it. What else? Wait, why are you going so fast? After <laughs> us. <laughs> so we got Badoof. That should be enough for the main quest. They they name dropped Bidoof. Um. Uh, wait, that concerns me. The Pokedex entry says two three to two five. Do we not have a? We needed a two eight. We don't have one tall enough yet. Okay. Where do we find that? What did I do? You've made good progress on these research tasks, Muddy Gums. I do believe you're ready to move up in ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. 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 It's time you earned yourself a star. Mm, I'm a star. Mm. Okay, so yes, I guess that is the main quest. And we can turn in the... Jubilife Bellagio. Starly one too. Yes. So I think we have a completed Starly Pokedex entry. Oh, have you completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hey, wait, let me read it. Hey! You're being a menace! Cut it out! Hmm. Wait one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible! I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Don't we have a Starly? Yeah. Will you show me a Starly? We don't have to show her the one that we have. 
the smooth curl of the feather on his head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's a lovely through and through. I tore it down to the last feather. <laughs> well, hello there, Starly. Do we want to touch it? Do we want to pet it? I, I want to squeeze it. No! I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let Lusa move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Completed with a Sasha tail wag. Sasha's being a brat right now. She's acting like an only child. <laughs> Literally. But we still... I'm not even going to go check because I believe the Pokedex. We have to tell Captain Silene that we're not worm shit anymore. Silene. Oh, yes, Silene. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Look. Look, look Aquí. all through it. Look all through it. Míralo. Look all through it. Aquí lo tengo. Aquí está. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I yawned in the middle of it. I missed it. <laughs> we don't have a rewind yet. You can now use heavy balls. Mm. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. This is not her speaking, but the rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Crafting heavy balls. We need black tumblestone. And revives. Vivid Choke and Medicinal Leaks. We've been collecting a shit ton of them. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Dunzo! For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Mm, I'm hungry. We already stayed up all night and didn't get either of those things. I wonder what's on the menu. I have a feeling it's... Potato munchy, mochi? So muddy gums, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi. Oh, that's me. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey corp duties to request forms whatever which <laughs> reminds me have you already taken on the request from um, wait hold on Beauregard Beauregard the people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon you see so if problems arise the survey corp gets called to help indeed so some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What is it all about? About that. I was thinking maybe Muddy Gums could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes. That request came from my of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here since 
have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. I'm down. <laughs> Literally. El próximo día. I just love how there's a constant raging hole in the sky and everyone's just whatever. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright. Oh. Wait, now? Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the Bastards to change up your team. <sighs> She's gonna teach us to battle. <sighs> okay, so, wait. Pause. Time out. Let's go visit the pastures to maybe switch up our team. So, officially, we're going to say Cyndaquil is on the squad. Is there any one Pokemon here that's just calling out your name that you just, you just like, oh, I, I just, oh, it just speaks to my... My my heart and I just have to <laughs> include it on the... these. <laughs> um, 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 I would probably say Shinx. Okay, we got a Shinx already, so that's good. So let's keep him on the squad. Um, I think that we should definitely keep a Buizel. Because that's the only water that we have now. And a Starly as well. I feel like everyone's beginner team in this game is the exact same. But that's, I guess that's mission based. I guess, kind of, sort of. But I vow that we will swap things up. I will do the, the, the grinding off screen to make sure that we have a diverse team for this game. Because... When I played through the game, I kind of sort of basically really kind of more or less had like Cyndaquil, Shinx, Weasel, Starly. But I did swap the Starly out later on. I don't remember. Maybe at the end of this Let's Play, I'll load up my version and we'll show like everything. Because I got a whole, I got the whole fucking Pokedex. I got, I mean, me talking about like this is big shit or something like, oh, no fucking Pokedex. But anyways, point being, <laughs> I feel like everyone has the same starter team. But I think we should use this little dude right here. Mm, what is she selling? Tacos? <laughs> I wish. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Oh, it looks like a Poke Gym. Oh, it's just training us mm -hmm. listen I ha I've had an epiphany and that is you see I've got a partner of my own we may not get along perfectly but we've got to work together to help complete the pokedex <laughs> your partner yes here this is my partner Pikachu Guy. Damn, he's yellow. Big God damn. Whoa. Our, the monitor that we're watching this on does not look like what you guys see. Pikachu is fluorescent. Vibrant. <laughs> he he is like a, a small star. <laughs> An orb. When we were attacked by those shinks. I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. Him. And if, you, and if being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. Bigger. 
But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more, too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Yeah! She sounds... Let's battle. What does she sound like? Stupid. Stupid. Go, Drifloon. Wait, why is Drifloon up here? Because we love balloons. I didn't ask for that. It's a party. We're gonna get demolished. Dang, this Drifloon has 99 HP at level 4? <sighs> that's, Fight a, him. that's a heavy balloon. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not fighting him with this thing. We're gonna go out to our Shinx. A little Shinx little boy. And we're gonna bite the shit out of this Pikachu. What? Bite its red patches off its cheeks. That's how actual Pokemon is. They're like crazy. Ah! Rip it right off. This is violent. Yeah. Let's get up in it. Quick attack it. Mm, yeah, yeah, get that Pikachu out of here! Battle decided. <clears throat> hmm? You and your Pokemon seem to completely, to be completely in step with one another. Yes, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level Move up. Move master. Do we learn new moves too? New moves. I love learning. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working on it, okay, Pikachu? Little bitch? I have to put sunglasses on to look at this Pikachu. Bigger. <laughs> Guess? <laughs> that was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battle goes, battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. It seems to be. So this table is like... You have to memorize it. <laughs> Me? That why you're here? <laughs> exactly. Here, exactly. Here are some examples of type mashups. Fire type moves are strong against grass type Pokemon. Grass type moves are strong against water type Pokemon. Water type moves are strong against fire type Pokemon. Which is what you tell me all the time, but I choose not to listen because you're going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, more or less, I'm going to be doing the battling in this year. I don't know. When we get to, like, the really important ones, I'm going to give it to you. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I'm going to give it to Yikes. you. Because I want you to feel the pressure. No. Oh, my God. What's going to happen next? I love pressure. <laughs> but most of the time, if you want to play Pokemon, you'd have to know. This is, like, a very... I don't know what the word is like what's the word like there's no writing on this it's done with all symbols. blank Hi hieroglyphics I mean it's like that but that's not the word I'm looking for I mean maybe but like you know that the flame means fire but it doesn't say fire I wonder what the one that looks like target which one is that they all look like target oh, okay. like the tar target oh the symbol? targets um, I'm mean, gonna guess that means super effective Ooh. because water lines up with fire because you see on the left it's attack mm -hmm. and on the top it's defense. So if you're attacking with water on a fire, it's super effective. Mm. And then the gray triangle means it's neutral. So there's fire, water, electric, grass, um, ice. Ground? Oh. No? Fine. I mean, I, yes and yes. Um, the purple is... Poison? Yep. Okay. The next brown one is... You already said it. Okay. That one's flying. 
um, psychic, mm -hmm. bug, yep, rock, yep, ghost, yep, dragon, yep, eyeball. <laughs> Eyeball? I don't know. I don't know. I know the last one is. What color blue. is it? What typing is that color? Blue. No, 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 no. Black. The the eyeball. Yeah. Um. Normal. No, normal is the first one. Okay. You know that one. Um. The dark one, like think Tyranitar. Tyranitar. It. <sighs> ground. Fighting. Things. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna give you a chunk <laughs> lesson. <laughs> no. So what's Tyranitar's typing? But you know, I'm really proud of you because I don't know if you if you caught that. I said Tyranitar, and he named what's super effective against Tyranitar. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. His but name. but what typing is Tyranitar? Rock. And. Boulder. No. Crush. <laughs> what? Crush? No, what's the move called? Um, I don't know. It's can, close to that. Can I phone a friend? <laughs> what's his typing? It's rock and... What's the the, the black symbol? I don't know. I know you know it. It's a magnet we have on the refrigerator. Magnetic. No. <laughs> Dark? Dark. I said it earlier. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. it's and then that up. next one, because I know the last one's bug, right? No, it's not bug. It's fairy. Wait, what's the? Did you say the second to last one? I didn't, because I don't know what it is at all. Again, fish. What the? What the fuck is that? Your dog is looking. Oh, this is a pretty dog. Um. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? But what's the last one? Fairy. Yeah. So it's normal, fire, water, electric, grass, ice, fighting, poison, ground, flying, psychic, bug, rock. No. Oh! Rock, ghost, dragon, dark, steel, fairy. Because it's How like. About steel? It's like plates with rivets. And it, G armor. G G G G G. it looks like a pentagon to me. <laughs> Threw me off for a moment. I was going to say government. <laughs> Threw me off for a moment. Is this the exact same thing? What the fuck is this? I don't understand what the difference between this uh -huh. is. What is that? So <laughs> you're the one. No. Wait. Too deep. Too masculine. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So, so you're the one. So you, so you're the one. The new recruit everyone's talking about. Oh, uh -huh. the name's Zisu, captain of the security corps. I mean, she doesn't necessarily have to have a deep voice, but she is rather girthy. She looks like she she has balls. <laughs> I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of ancient martial art, one of the specialties in Pokemon battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. It sh in truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Sisu's teachings should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time 
I went to meet my. You remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. Aspirate. That means when you swallow something into your lungs. Oh, yeah. When you inhale something into your lungs. You should come as well once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zisu. I didn't finish. If you'd like. If you'd like. Okay, so a request from my... We have to go down there, but I want to check real quick just to see with what we got. I want new moves! Yeah. Okay, now that we're all battled up and battled out, I think that we need to check our missions real quick. Request from Mai is the only thing we have. Big Buizo is the only thing we have. Okay. So we're good to go on that end. Um, I wanted to check right here real quick just to craft a few more of those. We ain't stressing, craft a few more of those because we pick them up as we go. But I think now is a good enough spot as any to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Or should I say tonight's episode? Tonight. It's time for us to eat and rest. But before we head back to the Obsidian Fieldlands, there's still so much that we could do. We can plant berries so that we come back at a later point and have berries to give to our Pokemon or toss when we're trying to catch them and whatnot. Mm. But we'll we'll do we'll do all that later. We'll do all that later. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up today's episode here. Um if you guys enjoyed and would like to show your support, make sure you hit the like button down below for us. It is greatly appreciated. Um, thank you so much for your love and light. And until next time, be safe. We out this bitch. Bye.